Hi there! My name is Artem and the purpose of this video is to explain topic which allows us to improve the quality of software that we develop and prevent future issues. The topic is non-functional requirements. Let's start! Briefly about functional and non-functional requirements. Functional requirements tell us what should system does, some specific behavioral functionality. Example, we need to implement chat application which allows the users communicate between each other. It's functional requirement. From another hand, non-functional requirement tell us how system have to perform this functionality. For instance, system has to support or this chat application has to support up to 2000 online users and could be scaled to 2 million users in future. This is non-functional requirement. Well, why are non-functional requirements important? So, non-functional requirements help to develop robust software with a good quality of implemented functionality and predict challenges which might happen to this system in future. The non-functional requirements which we will consider in this video are security, performance, maintainability, scalability and usability. If you want to read about other non-functional requirements like availability, accessibility, observability, you can follow links from description box under this video. Performance. Performance describes how quickly your system responds to user reactions. The key metrics here are latency and throughput. Latency indicates how long transaction takes and throughput indicates how many transactions can be handled in specific period of time. Let's went back to our chat application. The performance requirements might be as follows. Duration of sending message or search of message must be not longer than 3 seconds because we might lose the user because it would be too slow for him. Well, in order to avoid such issues, you should do performance testing. The popular tool that can help you with that is Gmeter. The next is security. Security is an ability to protect application from malware attacks, unauthorized user access and prevent losses of user information. For instance, on current picture you can see a hacker trying to steal user personal data. As an example, your application might have functionality that allows to transfer money by using user's credit cards and collect this data for future payments. In that case, you must be sure the data is saved in a secure database in encrypted state. The same for user passwords. The next is maintainability. Maintainability is an ability to maintain system easily in a cost-effective way. For instance, infrastructure requirements have been changed and you need to migrate from Amazon S3 to Google Cloud Storage. In case you follow clean architecture and your system have several layers, you can just make changes in infrastructure layer and it will not affect layer with business logic and API. So, in order to improve the maintainability, you can follow design principles, uh, design patterns, have good coverage of unit and integration tests. Let's move on to the next non-functional requirement, which is scalability. Scalability is an ability to scale your system vertically or horizontally. Let's assume you're developing a video sharing platform and in the beginning you had about 100 of users but after applying marketing strategy you might have about 1000 of users. Can storage 
of your platform be extended vertically in order to support these new users and their videos? Could your services be extended horizontally in order to support the load of these users? What can help you? First of all, you need to check specification of third-party services that you're going to use, follow market service architecture, and know about difference between stateful and stateless architecture. And the last but not least is usability. Usability is an ability to make easy to use application via common standards and patterns, and in short, interface of your application should be user friendly. As you can see on this screenshot, Amazon applied internalization and localization on their website and used common pattern uh, card on the right top corner. As well, you need to think about screen resolution of your users in case it might be a laptop, smartphone, uh, tablet, and etc. You need to implement responsive design. With that, you can help Flexbox, Grids, Media Queries, and etc. So that's it. Now you understand the basics of non functional requirements and can apply them on your projects. Uh, reference to literature and blog posts that I read, I will leave in description box under this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye bye.